hello in this tutorial we are going to create bbs for these rc walls here in this septic tank okay uh, let's understand the bar detail over here first it is very important as as i said earlier okay you can see we have the longitudinal bars over here okay and uh, we have these horizontal balls as well okay this is going in this direction okay let's suppose this is a wall we will have the longitudinal here and the horizontal as well okay with these longitudinals so longitudinal is basically number four six in cent center okay and the horizontal walls okay these are number four eight inch center to center so these horizontal are at this end and this end as well okay now if I see here in the wall, okay, this one, we have uh, this wall, this wall, this wall, and this wall. I mean, we have four walls, and two opposite walls are same. This wall and this wall. Okay, so all we need to do is what we need to find out one wall. Okay, the reinforcement on this one wall, and whether it is longitudinal or the horizontal, and multiply it with two. This one multiply by two will give us what? the total number of reinforcement let me just give the example so let's suppose we have longitudinal bars over here we will find out the one okay and at one end we have two and at another end same we have we will have two two plus two will make four okay so that's why we need to multiply it with four at this end okay same goes for the horizontal walls as well uh, sorry horizontal steel as well and same in this direction as well okay but in longitudinal steel we will take out to our dimension okay and uh, uh, for this wall it could be any wall this wall as well we will take for this wall as out to our dimension and this into in dimension because we will place the steel longitudinal steel one two three four five right from this start seven eight nine ten eleven up till this okay so two of the bars one here one here one here one here so and for these walls we will take into a dimension we'll start right from this position one two three four five six seven eight or well, same goes for this one we will take out our dimension okay so this is basically our long wall and this these two walls will be the short wall now let's get started first we will find out this longitudinal steel and then we will find out the horizontal steel okay so let's go here and uh, let's put the detail over here so i'll simply go here number is four and uh, i'll write here underground septic tank wo uh, rc walls okay underground septic tank rc walls okay next to it we need to put here the dimension for this as we are finding the longitudinal steel all we need to do is we need to give here the length of the wall breadth and the height of the wall okay so length of the wall we know it is 11 feet 6 inches so we will go here 11 foot 6 it is uh, 138 yes okay so this is basically the length outward dimension i'm talking about 38 okay and then breadth of this wall is 9 inch and height of this wall from where we need to take the height height right from this position up to this position because this uh, longitudinal bar is going up to this position okay so we will take the whole height 12 inch plus 6 feet plus 6 inch okay so it is what 6 feet means 72 inch okay 6 multiply by 12 72 plus 12 inch and plus thickness of slab as 6 inch so it is total of 90 inch the height we will take okay 90 so detail of bar these are longitudinal longitudinal bars okay and uh, then we need to add here the spacing of this bar six inch center to center is the spacing okay next to it uh, we need to create a shape for this bar you can see here we have a development length over here and we have development length over here as well okay so we'll create a shape over here so for this draw border okay this kind of shape is over here okay next to it uh, we have bands over here okay 90 degree band over here 90 degree band over here so i'll copy this formula and i'll paste it over here okay 2 into 2d 2 into 2d okay because we have two bands over here 
90 degree okay next to it uh, we have bend at development length let's check the development length uh, what we have to cover here development 12d is the development length okay so equal to 12 into d is the dia bar so dia divided by 8 to convert it into inches okay next to it uh, what we need to do is we need to add here the dia bar and the dia that we are using again is number 4 dia okay let me copy this format paste it okay and then concrete cover remember here you can see at the bottom inside okay we have this water tank bed and the walls over here so we will take the concrete cover as one inch is at this end but at this end we have slab we will take the concrete cover according to this 0.5 inch okay important one for slab rc walls we can take the rc wall as one by two inches but we have to care one inch it is okay for us okay because uh, for water tanks it is one inch overall one inch and in slab we can also take one inch as well no problem so let's take it a one inch okay because in water tank or the septic tank overall cover is one inch okay so we will take one inch here as well so let me put it as one inch and uh, then number of bars how to find out the number of bars what is the span so these are longitude bar these are in this direction so the total length will be span divided by spacing okay span minus concrete code divided by spacing plus one will give us the number of bars so equal to span is basically length okay divided by mi minus concrete cover from both ends okay so span divided by spacing and a spacing is 6 inch center to center so 23.66 okay let's round up this one round up start the bracket comma close the bracket and hit enter so we need total of 24 bars okay at one line okay at one line we need total of 24 bars right from this position and we have second line at this end third and fourth so we have total of four members over here okay so multiply by number of members because longitudinal bars are in four okay and then total numbers that is equal to number of bars multiply by number of members okay 96 so we have find out up till this position now in order to find out the total length all we need to do is we need to add here the development length that is 12d so equal to this one is the development length equal to this one is the development length how we can find out the height now to find out the height what we need to do is from the overall height from this position up till here we need to detect a concrete cover at this end okay and at the bottom we need to detect concrete cover then die of main bar and die of distribution bar as well important okay so how equal to okay this is the total height 90 inch let me simply start the bracket okay minus concrete cover from both ends top and the bottom and uh, we know the concrete cover we have to cover here is one inch minus one minus one okay then again minus we need to detect die of main in the distribution bar okay main in the distribution bar at the bottom okay so die of main bar is uh, minus 0 0.5 inch we know die is uh, minus 0 0.5 inch okay so this is what we need to detect hit enter so it is a total of 87 inch okay 3 inch we need to detect what 3 inch so 3 inch how 1 inch at this end 1 inch at this end okay and 1 inch from main and the distribution bar 3 inch okay so this is done we have find out this one as well we have two bands over here to detect okay so let's find out uh, the total length over here equal to um, 
this plus this plus this okay minus we need to do the band direction okay multiply by total number of bars here it is total number of bars means cut length multiply by total number of bars divided by if we need to divide it on 12 in order to convert it into feet hit enter so this is total of 776 feet okay yes done from here so we can find out the longitudinal bars over here let me simply go again here in autocad okay so we can find out these bars okay remember these bars for this one only okay this long wall and yes we need to find out for this short wall as well okay let me just check the video okay let's find out for the short wall as well so this is a wall and here uh, we will take into in dimension we have find out already up till this position now we will place the bar right from from the one two three four five six and here we do not uh, need to add here any kind of concrete cover or anything over here okay because we will take the whole span into in span okay so uh, again i'll go here number five i'll do it bit quickly okay so underground septic tank walls paste it over here and uh, what will be the length we need to put here this length into in length okay dl this length we need over here okay so that is 8 feet 8 multiplied by 12 that is what 96 so we will put here 96 as the total length okay rest 9 and height will also be same okay and uh, these are longitudinal bars Okay, tunnel bars. Okay, and you can mention here underground septic tank RC. Okay, long wall and the short wall as well. Long wall, short wall. Okay, next to it, uh, this is same, and then we need to create the shape of this bar over here. So I'll go here, we can create the shape like this this as well okay next to it uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to go here and uh, we need to do the bend detection so copy this one and paste it over here the same bends will go here two bends okay two into 2d uh, next to it uh, we need to go here for the development length same development length will be over here because the bars are same okay number we are four using over here you can see the bend in the everything concrete cover is one and then we need to find out number of bars and number of bars will be equal to span divided by spacing equal to span okay and now we are not going to detect concrete cover because this is in doing dimension we do not have any kind of concrete cover span directly divided by spacing okay and spacing over here is this one plus one so we need total of 17 bars okay multiply by number of members and remember we have two bars okay at this end this end two and at this end and this end two we need total of four members okay and a total number so copy this formula and simply paste it over here this is okay for me and now it is time to find out this cut length and now this is equal to this no problem and this is again equal to this it is okay for us uh, yes and then what we need to do is we need to find out the total height and total height will be same okay so copy this formula and paste it over here because these bars are same but in a different direction oh no let me delete this one equal to what we need to do is from this uh, we need to detect concrete cover from both ends okay and then dia of main and the distribution bar from the bottom okay so minus 0.5 minus 0.5 it enter so 87 okay this is the total height now in order to find out uh, the total length i can copy this formula okay let me go here instead of this this one this is this one this is this one 
hit enter so this is 549.66 okay the total length you can see over here let me check it again this one this one this one okay this one this one this one minus we need to do the bend directions multiply by total number of bars it is okay yes divided by 12 in order to convert it into inches okay so we have find out these bars as well okay so we have find out all of the longitudinal bars these longitudinal bars okay these bars okay in long wall and the short wall as well now in, in next tutorial we'll find out these horizontal walls as uh, sorry these horizontal bars as well okay so hope you really understand this session i'll see you in the next